Jim Serpa, a former Doheny State Beach supervisor, knew what he was looking at when a lifeguard at San Onofre State Beach sent him photos of an odd creature lying on the rocks. Serpa, of San Clemente, got the call to look from Todd Shanklin. Shanklin, on duty that day at the beach in San Diego County, knew Serpa was the man for the job. The two had shared an office at Doheny. Todd said he looked at the head, and it kind of reminded him of a sperm whale only different, Serpa said Sunday. But when I saw the big bulbous head, the tiny dorsal fin way back on its back and the dagger teeth, I knew exactly what it was. It also had an odd blowhole that's farther up than any other whale and slightly off-center. As I walked up to it, I knew my ID from the first photos was correct. The discovery of the nearly 9-foot whale Friday May 15 was an incredible find for Serpa, who has long been fascinated by sharks and marine mammals, especially ones that are unusual. Pygmy sperm whales are found in temperate and tropical seas worldwide. They look very similar to dwarf sperm whales, making it very difficult to distinguish between the two species in the field. There is limited information on both species and officials at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration consider them rare. Serpa has never seen a live pygmy sperm whale. They typically eat squid and use their long, pointy teeth to keep them captured as they devour them. Shanklin notified officials at NOAA of the whale and took samples from it. Officials from the federal agency plan to examine the carcass this week. All marine mammals are protected by the Marine Mammal Protection Act. This protects species from declines that would reduce their populations below specific thresholds set by NOAA. When Serpa inspected the compact body and its wrinkled brown to blue-gray back, he noticed what appeared to be a bullet hole. I don't know if it was pre- or post-mortem, he said. Why the whale is here is anyone's guess. Scientists say the Pacific is super warm right now, so maybe it just came up here in a warm patch, he said. Or, maybe they are here more than we know, and we don't see them because they shy away from us. For Serpa, the experience is another adventure in his many years of studying and watching marine life. As a kid, he was fascinated with Jacques Cousteau's underwater adventures. I couldn't get enough of that underwater life, he said. This year marks the 50th year as a scuba diver. That blows my mind, it's been that long. And, I'm still like a little kid every time I put on a mask and look under the water. Quote.